Hello, my sweet bumblebees. I'm Gigi Mamel, and this is Living at Gigi Ma Style. Today, I'm going to introduce my newest doll. Now, if you know my um, fashion dolls, I have three. Well, now I have four. I have spring, summer, and autumn. Now I have winter. Let's get into this. I knit when I named them. I knew something was missing. And although I don't like winter as far as the season itself, we have now got winter the doll. Now, this dolly is not articulated of, at all. So, um, and neither is spring. If you, uh, I will be right back. I'm going to go get the other three so I can show you who I'm talking about. Okay? Okay, I'm back. All right. I started out my fashion doll journey with Autumn. Now she is articulated at the knees, hips, wrists, uh, and elbows. And, you know, and shoulders as well because they go both ways. Alright? So this is Autumn. Now she will be getting a makeover with her hair and but I love her articulation. She is stunning. So this is my autumn. And then I was sent to Barbies by um, Kim <coughs> Sally. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. We had, uh, I became in and the dog started barking all over the place. Okay. I showed you autumn. Okay. This is summer. Yes, there she is, back there in the back. Now, summer is also articulated um, up here, her arms and legs, and she is our curvy girl. And now I have, um, oops, her shoe fell off. Where to go? I don't know. Um, I kind of decided that these guys are kind of based, they're, they're, the personality that I'm giving each one is based off the show Charmed. Now, the older Charmed, okay? Um, not the one that's on Netflix now, the, the older one. So this is Summer, and she. Um, I will do a video comparing them later. So this one is Summer. This one is spring. Now, there's no articulation anywhere with spring. The same with winter. So, um, the bodies on spring, and they will be getting a face-up and a hairdo. Not, well, not really a face-up. Um, but they will get their hair redone. Um, I plan on cutting this one short and as well as winter's. So this is spring, and this is winter, and they will be have different haircuts and different things done. But um, I am going to look for uh, more articulated bodies for them because there's just the arms are straight, the legs are straight. They don't, and you can't really do much with them. So, I will be looking for more articulated bodies for them. And I can just switch out the heads. And, um, so I now have my four seasons. I have spring, summer, autumn, and winter. There we go. I, my collection is now complete, other than switching bodies for spring and winter. I'm not going to, um, I figured that four is perfect. 
for me and my the size of room that I'm building and all of that. Now, speaking of the room. Now, in my last video, I showed you guys the um, fireplace and one of the bookshelves. I still have not built the second bookshelf, but I have been busy. Now, I also showed you that I was making little tables. Well, I didn't show you the finished product of those tables, so let me do that right now. All right. Here are the finished product for the two end tables. And there are two, two of them. And they sit nicely. Let me see if I can tilt the... Let me move the camera so that you can see that they sit... Whoop, sorry, I hope I'm not making anybody sick here. But they sit nicely on the table. And oh, there's my hand again. Sorry about that. So I have the two end tables and then I made the coffee table and I told you I was going to make it look like a chest, right? Well, here it is. There is the coffee table. And it sets, it's, works very nicely in the room. So it, very simple, just cardboard glue pieces glued and painted black. There we go. There's the end tables. And then I got crafty and I watched um, my froggy stuff. Now, Shelly's Dollies introduced me to this and oh my goodness, I've been binge watching her show. I will leave a link to um, my froggy stuff in the description below as well as for Shelly's Dollies. Um, let me show you what I made. Um, kind of, after watching their show, um, I kind of went a little crazy. Well, not really, but there are my end table lamps. Aren't those awesome? This one's a little crooked, but when I put the glue in the end of the cup, it kind of melted it, and um, you know what? It's a little crooked. But there we go. There are end table lamps. And um, the little bowl that came with a little set for my Brayland doll. I painted it the same blue and made a table plant. Isn't that pretty? It, it works beautifully. Today, we as in us, are going to cover my sofa. That's, here is the sofa. Basically, it is the box, part of the box that my phone came in. And part of the box, this one here being a little bigger, was the one that my husband's phone came in. He got a different type of phone that's a tad larger than mine. So, I have, there are three boxes here, if you can tell. There's this one that my husband's phone came in, this one, and this one my phone came in. And I just glued it to the top, and I put some cardboard pieces to kind of um, thicken up the arms a little. Now, I'm going to move you guys back just a little bit. Now I've gone ahead and cut pieces of that beautiful blue material. And what I'm going to do is we're going to start at the back and we're going to start above the um, box right here, the bottom box. That is going to be painted black to um, kind of mat, go along with the uh, end tables. The bottom part of the sofa will be black to kind of match up with that. And we're going to take my hot glue gun that this poor thing, it has been beat to, it's been beat up. 
but I'm going to put a line of glue along the back. I'm going to line up the material right there. Kind of push it into the glue a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to pull it down and we're going to line it up at the top of this right here. What are you doing? Oh, somebody opened the door and then closed it and my dog is a little freaked out right now. He's not barking, so I'm not going to say anything. Okay, line of glue. And we're going to pull this down nice and straight. Hey, are you making a video? Or are you, are you oh, yeah, I'm doing a video. But it's okay, you can come in. And then we're going to fold it over the top. And we're going to do some trimming pieces, or we're going to tuck it down in there. And in order to do that, I need to trim, well, first we're going to go ahead and cover, do this, just so it's on there. move a few things guys I'm knocking stuff all over my table I'm doing so good now in the next uh, there's going to be a little change when for the next video guys there really is um, I'm doing something a little crazy but hey you all know me so um, you know I'm a little crazy I will be um, bleaching my hair out just a little bit taking some of the black out and going a much brighter purple so I'm really looking forward to that okay I think it's gonna look really cool I'm kind of digging the idea. Okay, I'm going to tuck this down in there, and then I need to trim, or so that it sets down in there nicely. Like uh, so. like that let me see if I can show you what I'm doing I trimmed here and I trimmed along here so that I could tuck it down in there really good now we're going to run a bead of glue right here and stick that down Okay, we're going to do the same on the other side. Put a slit in there. Fold it over. Make the slit just a tad bit bigger. So it sits properly just like so and run the 
bead of glue down through there. Like a saw. Now, like that. Um, I will be putting a cushion along the bottom. And I cut out several little squares. This is the, the really dark purple. It will be like this. I'm making three. They're going to be pillows. Um, here is the orange. And I also cut out squares of the red. Um, I'm going to have a pillow each of each color on here. And um, I will, I'm going to do those with glue, not, um, I, I can sew, but I, my sewing machine is broken and hand sewing sucks. <laughs> I don't like to hand sew. So now we have. I made the material just a little wide so that I could tuck and fold. Okay, we're going to put a little glue inside there and we're going to tuck that down and hopefully not burn my finger. I'm bad at burning my fingers. My glue gun and I have a love-hate relationship, I must tell you. Now I'm going to trim this down just a tad right there so that I can fold it and then fold the other to make a nice tight seam. I got to trim this just a tad so that it lays where it's not overlapping the front. Okay, now we're going to put a little glue in here. Fold that down. Oh, I got a little high on the glue there, but that's all right. Not going to be perfect. Sorry, I had to ha have a little drink of coffee there. My throat's a little scratchy. The weather here, I was going to do this live today. But the weather here has been absolutely sucky for spring. We've been having snowstorms and just absolutely lousy weather. And which has made it very difficult. For some reason, my phone will not connect to YouTube. Um, I can... I get my notifications and all of that, but when I go to, oh, I'll be right back. I'm back. Um, it's only been a few seconds for you, but it's been a couple hours for me. <laughs> um, everybody decided to come in, and Jen brought uh a new little creature for our farm, which I will talk about in another video. And um, we are picking up a couple more little critters for the farm, which I will do a farm video tomorrow, I think, because uh, the little ones are going to have to have a uh, little time to get acclimated. So farm video tomorrow. Stay tuned. Um, while everybody was in here and doing everything, I finished the sofa. <laughs> Let me show you what I did. There it is. Basically, I finished covering the, the front like I was doing in the last. Tucked it all in. I took a strip and I went over this and tucked it here and here. And then um, I took pieces 
and glued them on and kind of trimmed around it to cover seams on both sides and in the front. And then I took a piece of the blue material and I folded it like four times to turn, make the cushion. And then I glued together an orange, a red, and purple pillow. One sofa. Now, if you hang on just a second, let me switch my, let me grab the foam. Okay, I'm going to switch it around. And we will go and put it in the, excuse the beep, I have coffee in my microwave and it's telling me it's ready. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the sofa in the room. Get it so everything sits properly here. All right. Move that a little closer. There it sits. Let me go inside. See how nice that looks? Oh, that lines up beautifully. The girls are standing over there. I will take pictures and do a video soon. I'm going to flip the camera around again. Okay, here I am. Okay, and there we go. I finished the sofa. It is all set to go. And right this second, I am working on a new... I'm working on the kitchenette wall. And let me show you what I've got done so far. Um, hang on. Right here, this, here is my stove. There will be a kitchen sink right here. And then this is counter space that the microwave will sit on. And we've got two little doors here. There'll be two little doors right here underneath where the sink is. There'll be a stove an oven door with a handle and all of that good stuff. So we are coming along on our di uh, miniature um, Barbie room. I'm going to uh, let you guys go now. I'm, this video is a little over 20 minutes long, so here we go. But oh, look what oh, she's, I'm, I'm she's, been, yeah, she's been dry, trying to get the color out of her hair a little bit so that she can go black and blue instead of black and pink. But, but uh, that did work today. No. We're going to get off of here because she's going to help me get rid of my color. <laughs> All right, guys. I love you. From Gigi and Ivy. From spring, summer, winter, and autumn. Be happy. Be safe. Be sensible. And do you that and <laughs> do your very best to behave guys i love you and i'll see you in the next video bye